Hello friends and welcome to my YouTube channel Simply Stocks and today I'm going to talk about Hester Biosciences an interesting company in the animal uh, pharmaceutical space so let's understand what is the company like and whether I will invest in the company or not so let's get started first of all a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation and people taking any position into any share that I talk about should do that with their own due diligence and research and I'm not in favor or against any company that I talk about now about the company it was established in 1987 it is one of the India's leading animal healthcare companies it is the second largest poultry vaccine manufacturers and exports to around the globe including Africa Europe and Asia so not much of an export in USA but in Africa and Europe they have enormous export orders and especially in Southeast Asia as well uh, products ranging from vaccines health products to diagnostics uh, for this space and the market cap of the company is around 1000 crore so it is a small cap company if you look at the numbers, uh, the sales have been quite fine at 11% growth, 45 crores was the sales in FI19 uh, compared to in FI20 it was around 50 odd crores. But the profit number has declined, so from 12.4 crores profit we see that it has slightly declined, you can say it has been flattish at around 12 crores. The debt is low, there is a decent promoter holding. Uh, but the best part is the return on equity so return on equity is around 26 percent operating profit margin is 35 percent but these numbers are going to be dented because of the current situations that we see uh, that we face globally and also because of the numbers that we have seen in the q3 uh, you can say the quarter gone by because if you take that into consideration i'm sure a return on equity and operating profit margin would not be the same If you look at the performance of the company then uh, the stock has fallen relentlessly for the last uh, two months uh, since February so over the last two three months the stock has fallen tremendously it is down 45 percent uh, from the September highs that we we looked at uh, also it has high ROE and profit growth that is a positive that apart from uh, the December quarter numbers the profit growth has remained uh, pretty robust it is currently trading at a discount around 30-35% from the peaks of February and the sector uh, the pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical sector has been coming out of uh, the mire so it has been doing well and this is into a niche space of animal pharmaceuticals so it will do even better that is my consideration uh, also liquidity is low in this stock so this is a positive for a company that is growing uh, because if there is low liquidity then the stock will move up very quickly but if, if things really go bad then you might not get an exit as well so be careful while investing into such companies So why I believe it is a buy on decline and I would like to buy on major decline. It is a unique business with top clients in the animal, you can say pharmaceutical space and providing vaccines etc. in that space. Uh, we have seen that defensives are coming back into fashion. So we have seen that companies in the pharmaceutical space are coming back into fashion. Maybe uh, Hester Bio would also uh, be as part of your portfolio. Uh, be the saving grace in, in difficult markets uh, the top and bottom line has been strong apart from the last quarter numbers the company has been producing very good robust 20-25 percent growth rate on top and bottom line so that is extremely positive uh, it has corrected to attractive levels from very high levels in january february so that has also helped some 30-35 percent correction from those levels uh, the return ratios is pretty strong and that is also something to uh, write home about uh, a sector should be in a bull run for the next two years so you would uh, you would see that over the next two years the companies in this sector would uh, do very well so a good you can say medium term play or one one and a half year play that you can make a good 20 25 percent in the stock so what you can do is can buy now and on uh, relative dips may emerge as one of the winners when markets recover so whenever markets come back into fashion goes to 10,000 10,500 this will also be uh, doing well have a good five year uh, view at least in the stock 
and this can become a multi bagger since it is only uh, uh, you can say a thousand crore company although be very careful because it is an illiquid company so it might not do uh, uh, if if the if the company doesn't do well if the numbers doesn't support uh, then this might not do that well but otherwise if the company come up with good 20 25 percent growth rate year on year on every quarter then the stock will keep moving up because this is only probably the only player in the animal vaccination space uh, that is listed so quite a unique business that they have i like the business uh, but the stock would be it is a quite a errant stock a volatile stock at that so you need to consider that as well and have less than 10 percent closer to five percent exposure in the stock